she like, like, like I start with this. I start, I start with this. I start with this. Fuck don't care. Fuck she, fuck don't care. Hi guys, this is Merlu from Our Kills, and today I want to quickly go through the track list of the deluxe edition of Shy Girls Nymph, which was published last year around September, October, I think it was uh, September 30th. I was extremely excited about her album. I have been following Shy Girl for years now, I think three, four years at this point. And I was listening to tracks from her um, EP, I forgot the name, but I loved her songs, songs like Slime, Cleo, and then BD featuring Slow Tie. It was a hype builder after the other and I was really wondering when she would be delivering a debut album and the time came last year around March she um, announced that she was going she was working on her debut album which was going to be published in September in my opinion she did a really good job with the building up of the album uh, even though the album itself at the end was fairly short it was like merely 30 minutes which I love I absolutely love like short and sweet like sh albums that are like short and sweet and actually nymph ended up being on the list of my favorite albums of um 2022 i think a number two or three if i'm not wrong but it ended up pretty high so the fact that shy girl is now releasing a deluxe edition of it with some artists that she has i think she's she has previously collaborated with it's pretty exciting to be honest and it actually adds to a narrative that Spanish YouTuber Julieta Weevil explained in her um, at the beginning of her video about Arca. She mentioned how there are some artists right now that are interconnected with each other and they are they kind of have something in common which is they are blending the lines between pop like mainstream and alternative um, of like extreme experimentation and super catchy beats and she mentioned artists like Arca, Björk, Rosalia and also Shy Girl and it's so interesting that we find this sort of narrative uh, in Shy Girl's Nymph Deluxe as well because she will be actually um, collaborating with Björk and Arca. I'm surprised that she's not collaborating with Rosalia. I think that would have been a killer collaboration, but hopefully in the future, you know? So what the artists that I mentioned before have in common uh, besides extreme, just extreme experimentation is the how they're like playing with AI and with their own image and with the limits of the the beautiful and the ugly, the strange and the familiar. Björk has been doing this for like decades now, so she's like the uh, the oldest of this. Like she's the one that probably started it all. And actually, Rosalia and I think also Arca mentioned her as like an inspiration which is i'm not a super fan of Björk, but i love her voice i saw her live a couple of years ago i've actually i saw rosalia live last year and i'm going to see a shy girl live in april so i'm pretty excited about that so let's get into my reaction of the actual track list so the first track is going to be angel um, and it's a featuring between Shy Girl and Fatima Al Quadiri, which I'm not sure who she is. I did search her on uh, Spotify before making first time in this recording, and apparently she's done a couple of soundtracks, and she's released an album that's called Asiatish, which I think I heard of a couple years ago, but I've never, I've never listened to it. But either way, I'm not like very familiar with her music so I'm even more excited to hear this featuring because I'm not familiar with like the featured artist then we have Heaven featuring Tina Tinashe 
I have listened to the song and it's good. I'm not a fan of the like, song, like the original itself, so I was not too surprised about it. Um, then we have Crush featuring uh, uh, Erica de, Ca de Cassier, just like Fatima, I don't know who this artist is. Then we have Whoa, I See It From Your Side, and there's a uh, remix with Bia. It's interesting because Shy Girl and um, Sega Bodega made a remix of Bjork's uh, All You, which even though I'm not, I was not too happy about this, that remix, because I love the original and I love how the original is like built and Bjork's vocals, w remixing that and keeping the original the soul of the song, I knew it would have been pretty difficult and in fact in my opinion it was not delivered but we cannot ask, we cannot like, always have everything. Um, so it's in, it's um, interesting that uh, Bjork is, is now returning the favor uh, by featuring on a remix of Shy Girls. So I'm, I'm excited about this one. Then we have um, a remix of Schluck featuring Sebdaliza. Schlepp was one of my favorite songs of last year. I love that song. I could see how uh, Sebdaliza, who's a, a, um, an um, Iranian Dutch artist, whom I love, I love her music and I love her style and she just, I'm so happy she's featured on this project. I can see how she could add to Schlepp. Schlepp is very uh, is subtle but also very catchy so I could um, and I and Seb Delisa is usually also playing with like sensuality and the body and so I'm really I think and you know with Schlatt being as hardcore and explicit as it is I think it's going to be an amazing combination then we have Nike featuring uh, Dito Black I'm not sure who this artist is, but if it's a rapper, I could see how they would mm, like fit in the song. Then we have Playboy Positions, which I think only features Shy Girl. Then we have Poison, Club Shy Mix. Um, I guess we're just going to be like a regular club mix, so let's move on. Then we have Firefly, Kingdom Edit. Again, it's probably going to be um, like a club mix. It doesn't feature like any other any other artists. Then we have Wildfire uh, Earth Theater remix. And then the last track, the eleventh and last track, is going to be um, Unconditional, featuring Arca. Arca produced um, one of the songs on uh, on Nymph. I forgot the name, I think it's Come To Me. So I love that Shy Girl is bringing her back and that she's bringing her back on um, with like a, an original track because Unconditional was not, was not originally featured on uh, Nymph. On the cover of this remix album we have It's a Butterfly. And it's fascinating because we've seen the butterfly quite a lot in the past two years. We've seen it in uh, Lil Nas X Montero. We've seen it, of course, in Rosalia's Motomami. Um, we're we're also seeing it in uh, uh, in Melanie Martinez's upcoming portals, which she's been teasing uh, material, and the butterfly is at the center of this new world. So. I am, I don't know what's going on, I think Melanie Martinez is another, I will make another video about her, but I think she's also one of the artists to watch, I mean I've been following Melanie Martinez for like probably five years at this point, and now she's really coming closer to, again, like Bjerk's, um style and experimentation and um, all of this, in my opinion, is simplified by the fact that she also chose the butterfly as a symbol of her upcoming album. But I will talk more, more about this in another video. Um, 
for now I am super excited I will definitely review the album when it comes out and let me know what you guys think if you're ex as excited as I am about this project and I will see you all at the next video bye but she say they twins, 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 twins. jump right in, it's leg room in this bed, in this bed.